that. No. Let's just get, get right into it as well, too. <laughs> so recently, the fishy has spoken once again. And, of course, I mean, I figured I might as well just go ahead and do it as well. Do another, do another video as well, too. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The shark with a rail gun. Richard Spencer once in ethno state. He stated as many times, Foxer joined a white supremacist group and rained on them. Honey, they, they are. Labels do get tossed around, but these two aren't like PewDiePie. Ah, mm. uh, I would like to see some proof of your claims, you know? You're gonna have to put, like, say, the, the, the source in, in, in the comments, so, so I can check it out to validate if the source is credible or not <laughs> no nah, I mean don't don't do that as well too I mean I'm just kidding as well too you know that uh, you know a lot of let's say fact checking people that they actually you know do that shit and it's actually a pain in the, in the dick hole you know just to, to see the slight to see you know the the lightest you know that it could be <laughs> but uh, the thing is that uh, I mean Sure, I mean, you know, that Richard Spencer, I mean, like, he does have his own beliefs, you know, like, his, his, say, white ethno state or whatnot as well, too, I mean, shit, I mean, that shit, I mean, that shit, you know, sounds pretty scary as well, too, right? But, the thing is, I mean, I mean, of course, you know, from what I can tell, I mean, with basic, with basic psychology as well, too, it might, you know, be some sort of fantasy that he dreams out or whatnot as well, too. Now, of course, as well, too, I mean... Uh, I mean, it could just be, you know, just be dismissed, like, as, as just, an, just another fancy, you know, that we just, ah, uh, you know, I sit back over here, and you know, do you know what I think about? I think about having myself, like, a nice big house at the beach, you know, and I'm, and I'm laying down like this, with a cigar in my mouth. I mean, that's a fancy, right? <laughs> now, the thing is, of course, that, uh, I mean, on, on that I, uh, you know, agree that, uh, I mean, it, that it should basically, you know, just stay, you know, as a fancy as well, too, rather than just going around as well, too. However, of course, you know, when it comes, you know, to, let's say, Richard Spencer, there is also a bit of a problem as well, too. Now, what kind of problem are we talking about? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> To be honest, like this is where this is where we are. I've given conferences for for ages, and uh, we'll usually expect some protesters. They'll do silly string or something like that. We've entered this new world where the leftist protesters. No, I'm not a neo-Nazi. Do you like black people? Well, why do you? Yeah, hate, sure. Why do so many neo-Nazis love you? But you're not a neo-Nazi. Neo-Nazis don't love me. They kind of hate me. Actually, KKK neo-Nazis. Hey, those people don't like me. Are you to be like honest. the hipster version of the neo-Nazi movement? What? It's uh, Pepe's become kind of a symbol. Oh, man, that's got to hurt a little too. But again, I mean, why do you have to punch him as well too, right? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, of course, that uh, since the left wing, you know, has, let's say, validated political, you know, violence, I mean, in, you know, this, in the left wing in the sense that these communists, you know, like... They, they literally, you know, just punch that guy and they want, you know, let's say, to just show themselves as be a hero and everything, right? Now tell me this all too. When you punch someone you disagree with or any form of aggression all too, how the hell does that make a person all the more, uh, all, all the more writer, right? I mean, to be honest all too, I mean, I'm starting to think of all that guy over there as a, as a genuine piece of shit, actually. You, you don't you don't punch other people right I mean and as and especially too I mean that's like you know, like their teeth as well too like they always you know cover their mouth and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna break windows I'm gonna set cars on fire and everything as well too right and they actually you know just getting some 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 uh, support from local left-wing politicians and they can actually get and get away we you know and do all these crimes all free and whatnot right and tell me as well too I mean Am I supposed to see Richard Spencer as the bad guy as well too? 
Because, I mean, as well, too, I mean, if you say, I mean, he's, let's say, the bad guy in that case, as well, too, let's say, for the, uh, you know, for his white ethno state or whatnot, I mean, he said, he might have said it, you know, a lot of times, but at the same time, as well, too, I mean, we have a lot of, say, of the mainstream media, which I'm here to say, just talking out over here, but what they do is, I mean, they're just going to chop, you know, the video into pieces, and they're going to use that to manipulate, to make him look like the bad guy, as well, too, so... In a way, I mean, this is why I don't believe, you know, everything at face value, no? Sure, I mean, you could say, like, you know, that, oh, Richard Spencer is a, is a white supremacist. But what, like, what, you know, I honestly would, would, you know, would want to say to have proof on that, or then again, I, I just don't give a shit as well, too. <laughs> I mean, if he wants to, let's say, to do a white, his white supremacist this or that, I mean, let's just put it as... That is his problem, you know? That is his problem. <laughs> Even, you know, like, uh, he said it all too, I mean, that, that the Nazi you know that, that they hate him and so on. I mean, that, you know, what he, what he deal with, that's his problem, you know? I'm over here, I have my problems to deal with as well too, so... So there's that as well too. I mean, not that I'm defending him as well too, I mean... I'm just saying as well too, let's say... To what he does with his shit, that's, that's on him as well too. And... Basically, yeah, I mean, if you, let's say, gonna punch, you know, him, I mean, you're gonna make him the victim, you know? That's, uh, that's not good. I mean, if you, if you, if you really believe him to be, like, a bad guy, too, then, then why, you know? Why punch him? It's, uh, Pepe's become kind of a stump. And again, I mean, you punch him, I mean, that's wrong. You don't punch other people, you know, just because you disagree with them as well, too. Even, let's say, you just, you mask up as well, too, as a anti-fascist. <laughs> anti-fascist. Oh, more like a fucking left-wing fascism, all right. I've seen their shit that they do and whatnot. How they actually, you know, the shit they do and whatnot. And, again, as well, too, I mean, it's stuff like this, you know, that, you know, makes me, let's say, he empathize more with furry raiders, all furry and so on as well, too. I mean, this shit is so wrong. It's so wrong. There's no way to just excuse it as well, too. You don't punch other people. What the fuck? I mean, I don't, it, I don't care if you're a Nazi, if they're an Iwo Jima, or you're a fascist, or someone else as well, too. You don't punch other people. That's wrong. It's so wrong. Why the fuck didn't even think about it all too? That's assault. That's criminal offense. Jesus. Oh, but again as well too, I mean, that's because, you know, he punched the Nazis all too, so... So that's because, well too, he's just gonna go, let's say, free from, let's say, probation and, and the punishment of the, of the justice system because he punched a Nazi. For fuck's sake, I mean, Nazis just, you know, just, they died off, you know, for fucking... For fucking century, for fucking decades, and basically as well too. I mean, you're gonna label other people to punch about not as well too. That's wrong. That's so wrong. I mean, it's shit like this as well too. I mean, that actually I end you know to end up you know to the fair as well too. I mean, it's so fucking wrong. There shouldn't be any any doubt as a question on that as well too. But then again, I mean how. Richard Spencer says, I mean, that we are, you know, entering into this world of politics. Actually, the thing is, I mean, we already enter, you know, into this world of politics, well, too. That if you're not against them, I mean, if you're not, let's say, with you know, them, when they're socialist, Marxist, uh, fucking, <laughs> whatever the hell it would be as well, too, I mean, then you're definitely a Nazi as well, too. And of course, I mean, with this labeling of Nazi, Nazi this, Nazi that, Nazi... All over the place, I mean, people, of course, I mean, they're gonna get tired enough, let's say, just by being bashed onto as Nazi all the damn time. And, uh, you know, they're gonna, let's say, I mean, maybe join some, Mickey, let's say, join some, whatever, you know, alt, alt right, all furry. To me, let's say, what they join, I mean, that's their problem as well, too, I mean. Honestly, you know, I'm, you know... Since, you know, the, 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 uh, the mainstream media, they just, you know, they love, you know, twisting, let's say, effects, stories and narratives, you know, 
Jail can get you know plenty of money as well too. Regardless, you know if the person is going to be suffering or not for the rest of their fucking lives. I mean, it should already be it should already be basically a bit of a dead giveaway as well too. I mean, and the reason you no know, why people you know are, I mean people see you no know, Democrats as communists without a soul or whatever the fucking hell it would be, socialist, Marxist, communist, they're all the same fucking thing. Oh, the same fucking left-wing fascism. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's one thing, you know, you know, that I, you know, when I see myself there in, in the reflection of the damn time, I usually tell myself that, look, Gil, you are your own worst enemy. Do not give yourself a chance. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, because, like, if you do, let's say, give yourself a chance, I mean, in that in that regard, well, too, I mean, sure, give yourself a chance in many different ways, well, too. But, what I'm saying to you, like, you give your inner enemy a chance, and shit like this, you know, is gonna happen as well, too. I know this from experience as well, too, because, I mean, I did a lot of stupid shit, you know, like this. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, uh, this is, you know, like, basically what started this all as well, too. You know, this labeling of Nazi this, Nazi that, uh, straight white male is a problem. Fucking... Fucking, I don't fucking know actually. Cisgender, able body, straight white man, or some like shit, or some shit like that as well too. I mean, there's just so much shit as well too. I mean, like, I mean, I just you know, I just want to like have my own place and everything as well too. But you know, it's well, it's what like I said as well too. I mean, every time you know, you're gonna have you know your own place and whatnot. They're gonna like, come be the guys. You're just gonna come swarming in. What your politics over my feelings or this or that at all too. And again, I mean people don't like that at all too, so they should know this by now as well too, I mean. Give others like your own place to be. For Fuxler's sake, for Pepe's sake, for <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just messing around as well too. I mean don't take me seriously as well too when I say shit like this as well too. I mean it's all it's all you know satire. It's only for jokes. To make people laugh, you know, ha 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 ha, I mean, that's, uh, that's my goal. Oh, and also as well, too, let's see that, uh, one second. Ah, that's a spot, ah. It's not, it's not my neck. But again, as I was saying as well, too, is that, I mean, since that, you know, we're also, let's say, in this era of, let's say, political correctness and things, you know, just labels just being slapped onto, like this and that and that and this, let's say, all the damn time, I mean... I mean, one thing that I learned as well too, I mean, it's like, never fully take things for granted. I mean, cause like, there's like so many stories being spun, let's say, into some, into let's say, one person's narrative all the damn time as well too, that uh, it kind of becomes impossible, you know, for, to, let's say, to fully know as well too, if that person is really what they're saying they are as well too. Now, I mean, as well, too, I mean, like, if, if, you know, let's say, that time, let's say, when I was before joined the, the Freddy Raiders, like, if I fully believed, as well, too, let's say, what people would have told me about Foxler being this, Foxler being that, I mean, then, I mean, if, if I took that at face value, as well, too, like, maybe I would have been the Freddy Raiders, maybe I would have, no, have maybe I would have still been a, alone, I don't know, I mean, so many things could have happened, as well, too, right? So many things indeed could have happened. So many shit in the middle of the way as well too. But I could have said as well too. So many things you know could have happened as well too. Who knows all too? Maybe I could have committed suicide as well too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Ber the M9 Beretta is a pistol of Italian design. <laughs> but anyways as well. But anyways, I mean it's just you know let's say it's. I mean, I'm not. I don't want to say just to dive into a lot of. Let's say, uh, let's say, what if this could have been this? This could have been that. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, go into that at all too. What I'm, what actually is, meant, what I meant to say is like, never take things, you know, at face value, or whatnot, because there's like so many things, you know, being spun around all the damn time, and like, I don't know. I don't fully know as well too. Let's say if you know. Person A is what person B is saying about them as well too all the damn time. 
I mean, shit, they could even talk, be talking about you to me. I mean, they could be telling telling me, I mean, how much you are a bad person on this and this and this and this and this. Would I, would I believe that? Personally, I wouldn't want to, I, I would not believe it at all, too. I would always doubt, you know? You should always doubt. Don't take things for granted. Or you might just get fucked in the ass, you know? Literally. When you're trying to excuse their actions, you fall into a trap into sharing the blame for their actions and isolating yourself from everyone but them. Then you become one of their crusaders and a proverbial bounty on your head. Regardless of how real this is to you, you still have a life outside. These fun and games where your reputation is important, and those symbols have a meaning outside your fun and games as well. That's, you know, one thing I kind of knew about as well too, on the Freddy Raiders as well too. That uh, if I, you know, was, was to join with them, then basically, you know, I would, uh, you know, be bashed on to, to the leftist of, of being this, or being that, or that, and this, and this, and that. I mean, shit. It's, you know, basically, you no. Know, what I thought to myself as well too, I mean, since, uh, like, I've been, you know, backstabbed so many times by some people that I used to call friends, you know. I mean, just make, like, a lot of them as well too, to even, let's say, to, to take count of as well too, so I just, you know, I just gave up as well too, so... I thought to myself, like, even if I was, you know, to have myself, uh, some friends, you know, I figured it would be better off, you know, if, uh, you know, I would have at least a small number of real friends, rather than a full group, you know, full of fake friends, which they're just gonna, you know, backstab me in the end or whatnot as well, too. So, I mean... I feel like, you know, at, at the time, at that time, I mean, it was like, it wasn't anything different as well, too, so... So, I mean, I, I figured as well, too, I mean... But, yeah, you know, you're right on that, as well, too, that, uh... That, I mean, there's still, no quite a life outside for me, nowhere my reputation is real or whatnot, and... I mean, shit, I mean, it ain't stopping, it ain't stopping me as well, too, you know, for, let's say... Dressing up like this, and talking to a webcam about this, and doing some funny memes and everything doing fabulous as well too and whatnot right <laughs> but you know what as well too I know Foxler you know he's a uh, he's one of my friends as well too so is Cody Wolf and you know quite a lot of people in the fire raid as well too but who knows who knows if there's somebody that they're not they are not telling me who will find out as well too Perhaps I should start out with Foxler as well, too. Maybe, you know, if I... If I roughen him up a little bit, there's gonna be some things he's gonna tell me. That's so lewd. <laughs> but anyways, well, too. Since you know what they say about the Fox as well, too. Since you know that, uh... Perhaps, you know, it shouldn't be, let's say, much of a surprise for me. You know, if I know to... To get to know some different things, you know. And you know what? Oh, I'll show you how. <laughs> Perhaps, you know, all I should do now is just, uh, just put this bell, you know, like, uh, uh, the camera's a little, a little, you know, soft on it, all too, right? So let's suppose this is around Fuxler's neck. And all I could do, you know, is just basically tie this little belt around your neck and I choke him <laughs> but not really uh, I mean maybe let's say just take him as a bit of a like a bit of a bit of a collar as well too like you know let me show you as well too I mean on myself as well too what I'm talking about as well too now now of course I mean I'm not gonna say choke the life out of him as well too <laughs> but of course I mean since like uh, you know the fox really know that they're basically you know like uh, well you know, how furries, you know, you know, usually see foxes as quite an, an, a nice meal for butt. So I just, you know, take this belly, you know, slide it around me neck. And like that, you know. That I would already have in, you know. I would have, you know, foxler by the leash. And I would already, you know, just 
hold him like this and keep him my little pet. <laughs> That's so lewd. <laughs> Let me get this off. One sec. But again, I mean, don't just don't take this all seriously. I mean, I mean, Railgun Sharky, uh, Foxler, and the Alpha in the Free Raiders all too. I mean, just don't take this too seriously. I mean, it's usually you no know, just satire as well too, you know, because you know, this uh, this YouTube screen is my canvas, and I must do my work as important as it was seem. See, I mean, just like that as well too. <laughs> Oh, and also as well too, I mean, since, you know, if, uh, you know, some people say, usually say that Fuxler did a lot of bad things in the past, right? I mean, the thing is, we all did some bad things in the past, all too. You did some bad things, I did some bad things, Fuxler did some bad things in the past, uh, fucking Cody, his mate, also did some bad things in the past, all too. The truth is, well, too, that we all, you know... Did some shit in the past or two, and uh, I don't see quite a lot of reason, you know, why just, we should just keep on bashing each other, you know, just because of, oh, you did this here as well too. Now I'm just going to have to, let's say, mentally punish you until I can physically punish you and I can verbally punish you, and so on it goes, right? <laughs> Actually, no, as well too, I mean, I mean, me personally as well too, I mean, since I know as well too, I mean, there's a uh, quite a lot of, say, uh, Shit, you know, that could have happened, well, too, I mean, I much, you know, prefer to, you know, you know just, uh, you know, if, uh, even a chance would be as well, too, I mean, I don't know, I mean, maybe me and Foxler, we could, like, sit at a bar, have a bit of a beer, we could, let's say, get to know each other even better, become even bigger friends, well, too, I mean, and, I mean, if we, uh, you know, we did some bad things at pass, well, too, I mean, Rather than, you know, just, like, just punishing each other as well, too, we could just, like, laugh at it as well, too, because, again, I mean, we all did some shit in the past as well, too, and, like, rather than, you know, like, just beating the shit out of each other in so many different ways, or just shaming each other, you know, for what, for what they did as well, too, what I recommend, you know, is, like, to, uh, you know, to, as far as, you know, to just, uh, grab a beer, and like we just we just have a lot have a drink and laugh at it all too, right? I mean, we all did some stupid shit as well too, and uh, basically, I mean, it is what makes us the way how we are. I mean, there's no, there's usually let's say not, not much of a big surprise to it as well too. So, I mean, I'm just saying as well too. I mean that you know some a lot of people they do say that Foxler is this, Foxler is that all the damn time and. Of course, I mean, I don't believe it. I don't believe it as well, too, and... Nor, nor do I see any, any reason to believe it as well, too, I mean... Anyone can, let's say, talk shit about each other. That's, uh... That's pretty easy, you know? Talk shit, talk good. That's pretty good to me as well, too, I mean... What I really, you know, would want to see them as well, too, I mean... It just, you know, just to get to know them as well, too, you know? I mean... Why be enemies when... We can be friends, you know? I fucking deserve a, like a, some sort of fucking Nobel Prize for peace, huh? <laughs> but anyway, there's all two. I see some people could say like, Oh, this guy advocates for Nazi rights. Or something like that, right? I mean, for fucks, I mean, for one, I mean... I don't give a shit, I mean, for, for, this, for this kind of shit, I mean, if someone goes to fight for Nazi rights or whatnot, I mean, that is their problem, I mean, I got my own problem, I got my own, let's say, set of problems to deal with, well, too, and, and hey, I mean, there is, you know, quite a very, you know, special way, I mean, that I deal, you know, with, some, with problems, well, this, well, too, because, I mean, as well, too, I mean, you be kind of become, you know, friends with a lot of people, well, too, uh, commies, Nazis, fascists, Fucking Iwo Jima. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter because want to know why? This here is one simple word. It's so magical and it's so beautiful that you're gonna. That I mean, it's also say quite impossible to forget it all too. Already, it's called role playing. I'm not saying this to demonize you or take things away from you. I'm saying this because I'm worried for your future. 
Well, I mean, thank you as well, too, you know, for, uh, how can I say, you know, t for caring for me as well, too, because, you know, uh, I mean, I don't want, you know, you know, to come out as, you know, like, need, like, oh, people need to pay attention for me, oh, oh pay attention for me, pay attention, <laughs> but no, actually, as well, too, that, uh, uh, for one, I mean, that, uh, I mean, thank you as well, too, you know, for, you know, for taking care of it, too. Uh, but again, as well, too, I mean, like I said, it's it's all just, you know, just satire as well, too, you know? Or, I mean, like I said before, it's all role-playing, or, I mean, a costume as well, too, I mean, they should not say, you know, take it, you know, all serious as well, too, I mean, you know? We're here, you know, we're here, just have fun as well, too. I mean, just laugh at things and whatnot as well, too, I mean, if, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's my goal as well, too, you know, to make people laugh, you know? Then, like, if I made you or everyone else, you know, laugh, then, hey, that's, uh, that's good. That's, uh, an, an objective done because, as uh, Charlie Chaplin said, that, uh, a day without laughter is a day ruined. <laughs> but wait, we are not done yet. There is still another, let's say, batch of comments. We shall de dissect, you know. <laughs> Give me a bit of a second. So you feel like nobody else besides right-wingers care about you, and liberals are out to get you. Sounds like you're in deeper in than all this than you want to be. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie as well too, you know, but, uh, you know, for the uh, experience that I had, you know, let's say, on the outside world, and, you know, the experience that I also had, uh, you know, on the internet as well, too, I mean, that kind of, you know, makes me believe, you know, as well, too, like, uh, like, this is, like, the reality as well, too. All the, the leftists, the Democrats, the liberals, the communists, they're all allowed to get you with all their communism and all their political correctness. Oh, they're going to swell up all into your liberty, slowly grabbing into your... Your every little right of freedom of expression, your First Amendment rights, your Second Amendment rights, it's all gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, before you know all this, in this, let's say, this political war on the that, you know, broke out, I mean, that was like what I was, you know, kind of believing as well, too, you know, for all the, uh, all the shit I've been doing the past, as well, too. And, like, you know, when this, you know, especially when this, you know, this internet meme politics war broke out, you know, war in that case, all too, that, uh, I actually, know, I started believing that, uh, how can I say, that basically, it's, it's, it's like, it, it was, you know, like, all that I've been living out as well, too, you know, like, it, it felt like it as well, too, you know, that, you know, especially, well, too, you know, in life, every time, you know, that, it, that doesn't matter what it was, I always, you know, got a chance to, you know, become successful in life as well, too. Always, you know, just always. They were gonna come, some, some liberal, some communist, some democrat, out of, all out of nowhere. And, like, they would ruin it. And for what reason as well, too, you might be wondering. And, like, after, let's say, years and years of thinking over it repeatedly... I've come to the conclusion that they just, you know, would just, they just love to ruin other people just for fun as well, too. That's, you know, that's what I find scary as well, too, because, again, as well, too. Even, you know, to the point as well, too, back at when I was in high school as well, too. I mean, I said this, this before as well, too, but I guess now would be, let's say, a quite a good, you know, opportunity for me to say this again as well, too. Because back when I was, you know, at high school as well, too, there was this one, let's say... There's one teacher, well, too, which, you know, I, I kind of say consider my friend, which, you know, I don't know what, what, what gave into him as well, too, but, like, he, like, he grabbed me, you know, on the shirt as well, too. He pinned me up against the wall, and, like, this is, like, what I was seeing as well, too, I mean, he, he like, he got his, he's got my, my shirt like this, right? And, like, he was actually, and he was actually going to punch me as well, too. I mean, he was going to punch me. But, the thing is, as well, too, that, after that, I mean... You would believe that, uh, how can I say, that the school would actually, you know, like, uh, would, like, punish him, right? Would give him, let's say, some sort of, let's say, would fire him, would call the cops, or anything like that, and 
Everything would be hunky dory, right? Well, this here is what happened as well too. Since uh, high school, you know, as we all know, it's pretty fucking stressful, and that somehow, you know, some has, you know, pretty have your high school far better than others. How? I have no fucking clue. But congratulations. <laughs> But the thing is, I mean, since, you know, high school back then was pretty stressful for me as well, too. I uh, was often, you know, always listening to music as as I was, you know, doing my, my work and whatnot. And, yeah, I mean, it was like over and over again for like 18 years. And, of course, it will too, you know, you kind of say, kind of lose, you know, a bit of your sanity, you know, to perform, you know, the same tasks again and again and again. You know, with little to no stop on, let's say, for over 18 years, and, you know, basically, that kind of, that kind of, say, ru that kind of, let's say, just burns you out on the inside, well, too. So, of course, you know, let's say, to minimize, you know, the damage, well, too, I, of course, let's say, I always kept, let's say, a little, you know, ear headset on my ear, you know, and, and I was, like, just listening to music as I did my work. Of course, you know, it was pretty stressful, it was pretty, let's say, let's say, refreshing, to say the least, as well, too. And, uh, you know, the problem is that, uh, this teacher, I mean, he kind of lost his shit as well, too, I mean, he, let's say, he, he told me to, I was like, come here, we need to go for a talk, right? And, like, when I got to your room as well, too, well, that's when he grabbed, you know, by the shirt, and he actually, you know, did, did you know, threaten to punch me. Now, you might be, uh, be curious as well, too, you know, let's say that, what happened, you know, like, let's say the teacher, right? Well, here's the thing, they didn't call the cops, he wasn't fired at all, as a matter of fact, I was the one who was punished. Want to know how? They put me under prescription medicine for quite a long, long time, you know? And like, that shit, you no know, kind of burnt out on my head, you no, know, for quite a while. And like, I didn't forget that at all, I didn't forget that at all, too. As a matter of fact, well, too, I kept, you know, asking myself, why did that shit happen? You no, know, like say over and over and over again, and like I was let's say looking to say for for news, you know, let's say anywhere as well too. Sure, I mean I actually let's say kept a lot of other things you know kept happening as well too that I that I say I like that I kept you know thinking over let's say many many years to come as well too. Uh, I didn't know some research as well too with let's say with some I don't know what was it called again. Like anything as well too, let's say Prager University, something like that as well too. I mean, just to to know just why, you know, just why it happened to me. I mean, why was I punished? I mean, out of, out of, out of you know, all this shit that happens as well too, I mean, why was I punished? That's what I want to know. And I mean, when I turned out, you know, to this Prager University, I learned out that, you know, the leftists... Yes, the leftists, the liberals, the democrats, they love the criminals. <laughs> actually, no, that was like mostly a video from No Bullshit that I actually, you know, learned that as well, too, you know. Because, like, like, a lot of, you know, different things, you know, that happen in, like, the time span or whatnot, and there you go, that's better. <laughs> and, like, as long as, you know, let's say just, I just, you know, I just have you know a lot of questions but the thing is it doesn't matter how many how much time I you know I look for the answers I just keep getting more questions all, all the damn time I mean sometimes I get, I get some answers but again the answers only lead to more questions at least the one that I got so far sure I mean rarely they actually know they manage to answer up quite a few things as well too and that's you know why I say about Oh, those Democrats and all their communism, they're going to try and take away our liberties uh, because of their political correctness and and so on and so forth, right? I mean, I, I, I mean, to admit as well too, let's say, I even know, I kept that, you know, like, that, that, uh, this line of thought on, on me, you know, for quite a, for quite a, for quite a long, long time, and, uh, you know, I just, I just, uh, let's say, couldn't, you know, forget about it all too, you know. I was, I was the one who was punished, and yet the, the, the perpetrator, he gets to walk away scat-free. And yet I'm the one, you know, let's say, taking medicines and everything. 
for, you know, something that's only temporary, you know? Sure, I mean, in high school, I mean, there's a lot of uh, prepubescent teenagers, you're going to these hormon hor hormones, say, shockwaves and everything, so, of course they will, too, I mean, they're gonna, say, have, you know, you know, like a smaller tolerance for shit, so, I mean, as I did a, a bit of research on it as well, too, I mean, that's something, you know, that's quite normal, actually, and yet, for that, I was punished. For fucking what, huh? For fucking what? For for listening to music to trying to cope my some shit as well too for and it's for something stressful as well too for fucking years. I mean, give me a bit of a fucking break as well too. <laughs> I mean, it's just baffling, you know? It's just so baffling. And I mean, it's, and the funny part is, I mean, still to this day, I still, you know, I'm still, I still think about it as well too, you know, from time to time. And like, it like, it bothers me, you know, on the inside of all too. But the thing is, I mean, I can't show it out loud, you know. I mean, I just, you know, can't, you know, give out the sigh, like, <sighs> I, I remember it. I'm passing through all those memories. All those horrible memories. <sighs> <laughs> But yeah, I should just leave it open, no, just, just in case I, get, I, I need some more water. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as well too, I mean, and like, she like that in the past, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I feel like it was like, like just, you know, being punished, you know, just because, let's say, people wanted me to be punished. I mean, sure, I mean, that shit, of course, I'm not going to forget as well too. Especially as well too, you know how I remember exactly well as well too. At that same school, that some other teacher well too, you know, while I was you know let's say, you know, looking for some peace and tranquility, and of course I was like basically trespassing to the administrative area, but because you know they have the uh, an air condition over there, it was it was a it was a big school, so they wouldn't you know. Notice much if I was if I would you know go to let's say slip around for a few moments, <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, when I slipped out over there to that to that point as well too, I heard of course a familiar voice as well too. It was muffled because of course it was inside one of the rooms, but when I least expected as well too, I mean it was like one of those teachers. I mean it was that one of, another teacher that I knew as well too, and. He actually, you know, he managed to get me kicked out of school because he wanted to. And I, and I swear to you, I remember his exact face as well too, when he got me kicked. So, you know, just to get, just to you know, give, give a bit of a more accurate, you know, description, I need to put my helmet up and get like, mm -hmm. yeah, look at you, haha, -ha. you, you, you got, you, you're, you're getting kicked out of school. How did that feel for your wrong thinking, huh? How did that feel for you? <laughs> For you, let's say, for you, well, I mean, what could it be as well, too? For you not being part of the left-wing collective, how does that feel, huh? Oh, look at that. You're gonna cry, yeah? You're gonna cry. Of course, as well, too, I mean, he didn't say, he didn't say none of that stuff as well, too, but, I mean, from his eyes as well, too, I could read that, you know, 100% clearly as well, too, that, he actually, you know, he hated me as well, too, for some go so goddamn bad as well, too. But the thing is, but the thing is, is like, especially that now that, you know, that with this political correctness, internet, and meme war and everything, I'm basically going to say, like, say, you start, I see quite a lot of, you know, the, the same kind of people everywhere as well, too, and, and like, for, for, let's say, to admit as well, too, that's something that's, that's quite a bit hard, you know, to just to forget as well, too, you know? A traumatic event as well too. They got me kicked as well too. And of course I had to have to take the therapy refusal for so I mean having the wrong therapy for so many years that I actually snapped up and I became what you see, huh? Yeah <sighs> I mean it kinda sucks you know, to think about it, but it kinda feels like it is what happened. <laughs> God fucking damn it, right? Just because, you know, they couldn't you know, just let, you know, their shit loose for quite a bit of while. They had to punish me because, ah, 
I punish I punish him in so I could so I could so I have something to feel to feel better about myself a little too. Haha. <laughs> you you see that? That's that's what happened when when you're a a straight white male. Yeah, a able-bodied straight white male. Yeah, you don't deserve to be a part of the school. You're not you're not political correct enough. So. So we're just going to let's say ruin your opportunities in life because because we feel like it. I mean, it basically is what it feels like as well too. But but you know the funny part is, this is something that it still feels like it's going on as well too, especially you know, with some characters you know such as Dog Patch Press. To be honest, I mean that shit looks fucking terrifying as well too. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it it's not you know let's say too far off you know when you know people say soulless communist or communist without a soul I mean basically you know that comes to mind as well too I mean and you can see as well how terrifying that shit is <laughs> my advice take a step back and prioritize more everyday stuff at least for a while don't make your hobbies about other people and how the world is just uh, just make them about yell if you're going to hang out with these people, at least make out as Gil plus buddies instead of the furry raiders. You have no reason to be emotionally invested in others' victimhoods when they create prob their own problems on purpose. Not shade, just honesty. Well, you know, the fun there's, there's something else that's quite funny as well too, you know, when they say the people create, you know, their own problems on purpose. I mean... Uh, for what I can tell you as well, you know, from, from, uh, let's say, first-hand experience, that's something that the Democrats would do with all their communism. And wanna know why? So they, so they create their own problems, but, you know, they also come for that problem as well, they create some shitty solutions. Wanna know why? It's pretty simple, so, like, they could actually just have, so, have, you know, people pay expensive shit for something that just wouldn't work as well, too, you know? I mean... I mean, from what I can remember, too, I mean, the, the type of Democrats, you know, like, uh, you know, from the place I used to be in as well, too, I mean, they were actually, you know, pretty far left, you know, and, of course, I could, you know, basically get myself a good glimpse, you know, of their, of their, tr of their true nature, actually, and, uh, it was actually, you know, pretty, pretty scary as well, too, you know, like, uh, how they would actually much prefer to keep, let's say, everyone, let's say, just on the poverty, while, you know, they create their own problems and say like uh, if you if you do vote for me I can actually let's say fix this problem if you're paying let's say double the taxes so I can uh, let's say build more hospitals build more schools or or fix roads and everything right now the thing is over, uh, over here is that uh, like that they that they fix it thing is yes and no First off, I mean that yes, it kind of it kind of fixed out on its own, being that you know like they did that they did you know fix it, but the thing is like it wasn't all that you know direct you know. But first off, I mean it took let's say way too fucking long you know, so they can actually get the minuscule thing some something so minuscule done you know at at that time, and you know even if they got something done, the biggest chance you know like uh, that it would be something good it was like little to nothing so. If they say, like, there's going to be a hospital, let's say, <sighs> oh, man, it's just, you know, like, feel like, you know, people are just going to go there just, just to die, you know, rather than just, you know, just get some attention or two or medical attention. And, like, basically, you know, like, that's what, uh, what I, you know, can see about as well, too. Now, of course, it, now, of course, it might be wonder as well, too. I mean... Did people wake up to it as well too? Well, sure they. Well, I mean, of course, uh, you know, if you, if you know, some people, you know, they keep getting punished for such a for a long, long time. You know, like they're just gonna end up learning about it too, and yeah, of course, you know, are gonna try to, you know, to break free from it as well too. Special too. I mean, they remember, see, oh man, those protests and everything, so fucking much as well too. Actually, quite abysmal as well too, and it's pretty surprising too that see a lot of people that they actually you know just come from far away on foot, you know, on foot, to just protest as well too, you know, that some a lot of shit as well too. And you know what? And you know what? The best part is that it worked, you know. 
it worked again. Now, the thing is over there is like that, that it looked like it fixed everything, right? But the thing is, I'm not too confident as well, too, you know, like, you know, with I learned about life and everything. I mean, it's just why are you going to, let's say, to give full hope onto it just to see it get destroyed, right? I mean, basically, you no, know, like, say, these guys on the far left, you know, they're communists, you know, getting getting rid of the, of a parasite like this is, it's pretty fucking hard, to be honest. It pretty, it's, it, it actually is, you know, because, you know, I, I, you know, I've been, let's say, let's say, keeping an eye out, you know, people like this, you know, and, you know, using internet to do my, just to do my research as well, too, take some notes as well, too, on how the, how the specimens work and everything. And, yeah, I mean, what I learned, I mean, it's, it's just basically nothing new, actually. And I can just, you know, just see how, you know, how just, you know, a certain group of people who are in power, they take advantage over the, over the mentally stupid. And the thing is, I mean, like, they're taking advantage of them in the way that they're, let's say, mentally conditioned to be in denial about it all, too. Let's say the communist propaganda is so good, like, uh, it's gonna make all their problems just suddenly just vanish away, right? And nothing to even worry about at all. The thing is, I mean, like, it's not really like that uh, that worked as well, too, because, like, communism, I mean, it just never worked as well, too. And the people that say that communism works, communism works, there's actually, let's say, a funny word that fits at all, that sums it all pretty goddamn much. It, it ends commences with a D, it ends with an L. Can you guess what that word is? Denial. <laughs> but another funny thing as well too, you know, let's say that uh, that I also learned as well too that uh, the left thing, that the that those lefties do like they always blame other people, you know, be it me, you, or whoever it may be, that they always love to blame others to what they are responsible of as well too. Like, let's say, in a way, they, let's say, how can I, how can I say as well too, I mean, they, uh, they beat the people because they're Nazis, right? Now, here's a funny thing as well too. They, they might be, let's say, calling you as a Nazi, but, want to know what the, tr what the cold reality is? That they are the Nazis. And like, uh, you're, you're actually, you know, being the victim as well too, I mean, since they say like, Oh, I'm a victim. I'm a victim as well too. I'm a victim. Oh, I'm a victim. You're a Nazi. You're a Nazi. Uh, boom. See? I mean, you can basically see as well too. Clearly, who is going to be the victim? Which you know, if they hit, if they hit you, of course, you no. Know, by by common sense, you will be the victim, and they will be the Nazi or the bad guys as well too for perpetrating the violence. But the problem is well too. I mean. They actually know just managed to get get free from Israel too, and it's just fucking wise all too, right? You know why? Because I mean, those leftists over there, I mean, they just let them get away, you know, scat free as well too. You know, and as far as you know, just assisting them with all their bull, with their political crusade and whatnot. And I mean, don't don't call me wrong as well. Don't, I mean, they might be calling me crazy and everything, but you know, it's over there in the internet as well too. The specimens are there. They do their shit. And of course, I mean, you could just, you know, take a, a piece of paper and, uh, let's say, take a, a piece of paper and a pen, you know, just take notes, I mean, everything. I mean, it's, uh, it's basically so that it's not just, I mean, too hard, I mean, as well, too, you know, to just, you know, study a certain group of people and how they work and everything as well, too, right? Ugh. <sighs> Indeed, because it really is a pain in the dick, you know. But anyways, let's move on. Oh, and of course, before we move on as well too, I just want to say as well too, you know how, uh, how Railgun Sharky actually, you know, tells me as well too, let's say to focus, let's say, more on myself rather than everyone else, right? Well, you know, there's a bit of a funny thing as well too, you know. I mean, if you're gonna say take, you know, take more of your precious time to help others to feel good about whatnot, you, you're just gonna say you're gonna deny it on yourself you know, for quite a bit of while, and of course, uh, that shit is gonna take a quite a bit of a toll on you, and uh, it ain't it ain't good as well too. So 
it comes down you know, to a little phrases it will too that I also that I often you know ask quite a lot of people will too, and it usually goes by, how can you help others if you cannot help yourself, right? I mean, it's a bit, basically bit, basically a bit of common sense will too. Not saying that you shouldn't, but I mean, you should basically prioritize yourself first because again, you can't help others if you can't help yourself. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. I said moving on for fuck's sake. As for the internet legacy bit, you don't need to be an offensive gimmick to be important. So, we're gonna have to go back there, now would we? The moment where I'll all begin. <sighs> for once, uh, you must know. You must know. How it all began. the monster that you see before you. <laughs> I mean, not really, actually. I mean, of course, I mean, I just didn't like a complete over-dramatization of everything that I, you know, supposedly, you know, had going to pass a channel here so far. I mean, sure, I mean, it's, it's something, you know, quite funny as well, too. I mean, that I, you know, come, come to think about it, well, too, that I, you know, to make it look in, like, like that as well, too, like, Oh, I'd be mutating myself, you know, trying to become a much better person, right? But I mean, the thing is, is that, uh, you know... For fuck's sake, I need to get myself some more, more this shit to fix some goddamn holes in this thing, too. But anyways, as I was saying, as well, too... I should have never used my fucking nails to pry this thing open at times. But hey, fuck it. <laughs> but anyways, as I was saying, as well, too... The, uh, how can I say, I mean, of course it will too, I mean, I, that's, uh, you know, basically part of my legacy that I leave around on, on the internet all too. I mean, basically as well, I mean, so far as well too, I mean, what good legacy do I, do I, do I, that I leave, in the, I mean, do I have on the internet as well too, I mean, so far, I mean, it's just basically my Sonic character, I mean, 
that's the only no good I mean my beard is all too I mean but you know all the most valuable as well too I mean I feel like it's my character you know that I that I you know that I that I made you know I feel like it feels like that one that this character that I made you know and I kept you no know, for over quite a long long time I mean basically you no know, like that you know has like the, the most value to me as well too and hey I mean you can't blame a uh, I mean a creator to love his creation so goddamn much am I right <laughs> I even made you this picture to prove a point that you're worth something outside this some hate group. Best of luck. Now the funny thing over here that uh, you notice that the the arrow kind of points up like this here, but the thing is, I mean, I didn't. I decided to cut that part out because <laughs> that has a gift that was only intended for me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I mean, I actually looked it as well too, and uh, you know. <sighs> you know, it's basically, you know, that I find no quite funny as well, too, I mean, because, you know, getting R, you know, if you don't have a job, you don't have anything, you know, to, to pay with as well, too. You know, it kind of becomes, you know, quite hard as well, too, because people, they're not, you know, so, so open, too open, you know, let's say, to do requests, you know, even less, I mean, to receive gift arts out of, out of the blue and everything. Also, I mean, I'm going to actually have to show it on the video as well, too, but... To avoid the plagiarism, I'm gonna have to put some visual effects on it as well too, right? <laughs> Give me a second. Now I added you no know, some effects all too as well as an animation all too to you know avoid the plagiarism of that piece, but I'm not trying. I swear I am not trying. And of course, you know with the limitation that I said before as well too, which I mean you're not you know you know gonna you know everything's not gonna be all that easy to pay for art. Of course, I mean you're gonna have to you know I mean. I uh, ended up, you know, going to, to some resorts, you know, to, let's say, to draw my own picture, right? Now, trust me, I mean, I use Photoshop as well, too. I'm basically an outdated version of too. But here's the thing. I mean, I, you know, can can try to draw, I mean, so many times. So, I can, you know, tr I try to draw so good and so many times, but it's never gonna go as beautiful as this, I mean. It just never, you know, <laughs> I love it, you know, I absolutely love it, and like, I mean, just like every other picture that you got on my character too, but, but thank you, actually, but thank you, I mean, I love it, I love it so much, actually, I love it, <laughs> I love it, but yeah, I mean, just say this, just, <clears throat> just this one last time as well, too, I mean, I mean, the reason why I do myself all this, you know, the Freddy Raiders, this costume and everything else, else over here, you know, it's all just a show, you know. I mean, sure, you know, there's a lot of things that happen, thing, you know, that happen in real life, little too, but, you know, it doesn't happen to me. I take the full liberty to, let's say, make fun out of this all too, you know. But then again, as but then again, I mean, it's all just, uh, this all is just a, basically a, a bit of a Muppet show, to be honest. I mean, you're not supposed to actually, you know, like, Take all this fully serious, but I mean, take with a grain of salt, and you know, to, let's say to laugh at, like, like <laughs> this guy should give me some good memes, good shit, man, good shit. <laughs> so now, yeah, now I'm gonna have to, to edit out a a few bits and bobs of this video over here, upload, and bada bing, bada bada, bada boom, and see the next time that the rail gun shark is going to, let's say, reply as well too. But yeah, again, but yeah, again, like, like I said, I mean, it's all, you know, just to be taken, let's say, uh, I mean, not too serious, all too. You're supposed to laugh at it, all too. Since, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's basically what I, what I try to do best, you know. It's like to make people laugh, and, you know, in all seriousness, I mean, that's basically my goal here so far, as well, too. Despite whatever mutations I might have, of course, of uh, of course, to me as well on the internet, all too. What personas I try to make it all too, I mean, it's all just a, it's all, you know, just a costume as, as well too. We're here just to make, just have fun as, as well too, you know. For all the shit you know that, I, that I've been in, in, let's say, in the past or two. Sure, of course, over here I harbor all the hatred inside. But, the thing is, is that I, I actually don't say just, just bring this all out, you know, in order to let, make myself uh, some laugh and whatnot as well too. Now, of course, you know, it's going to be hard for me, you know, for me to, let's say, pour it all out 
at the start, you know what happened, but over in time, it's something that, like, I, you know, grab myself a bit of a beer, and I just, I just, you know, learned to laugh at it, at it as well, too. Rather than make it something serious, make it more of a joke, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, and I'll see you in the next one. So I'll see you next time, and until then...